Howdy fellas and welcome back. Oh fellas, ladies, cats, dogs, people have got to be watching this with their pets. Uh, my, my cat, she'll sit next to me while I'm recording, she'll watch. If I had a dog, I'm sure the dog would be sitting by me, because that's what pets do. They sit by you, they watch what you're watching. They, they look in, your, in the direction that you're genuinely looking. They listen to what you're listening to. Oh, trench warfare, nice. I guess we're gonna be digging some fucking trenches then. The Spanish weren't in World War One, were they? Probably why they don't know about trenches. Maybe they were. No, the Spanish weren't. They're all neutral. Neutral. They, they didn't want to get involved. They probably had another civil war. I think they did. I think they genuinely did. There was a Spanish civil war, and then World War One kicked off. There was a Spanish civil war, then World War Two kicked off. Then there was threats of another Spanish civil war, where the Catalonians wanted independence, which led me to believe there might be a World War Three. Which is why I fucking left and started living in the forest. It's not why I left. It's a bit of a bit of a joke, but it's it is what it is. Spain likes to have fucking civil wars before a bigger bigger thing kicks off. I want boats. Where's my Spanish Armada? Oh, it's on its way. And that will uh, speed up all this. Quite a bit. Canaries class. Ooh. Boats. Just need to stockpile some of that fuel, eh? What's this? Expand civil support. Again? We already did that. I guess it was only for 30 days. Now let's let's see if we can get this military support thing to go through. I'll wait until 50. Yeah, the commies are becoming popular. The phalange. What is a phalange? Sounds like a piece of plumbing equipment. I think it is. No, that's a flange. What's a phalange? Surely there's someone Spanish around here who can translate for me. I don't speak your language. I... I never even tried. I think... No, I, I did look into Spanish a bit once. I dated a... Uh, I did a Venezuelan. And I dated a Chilean while I was in college. So I learned some phrases but I don't remember a single one so I can't help you C is C yes there you go I know a little bit no I don't I do know I can speak I, I, I wouldn't say I can speak but I can write in Flemish Dutch that's that's something a little bit of Slovene uh, although I haven't practiced that in years now so it's probably gone to shit as well Okay, where are we going next? Can't do that. Still. Army efforts? Sure. Let's do that now. Insufficient resources? You what, mate? You what, mate? I should trade with the British. No, I should trade with the fucking Soviets. They're my fellow comrades. Anyone's going to be stronger, it's them. Come on, military support. I want it. Oh, I, I forgot to uh, press start on my timer, so I know how long the recordings go for. So, if this episode's a bit longer than usual, there's your reason why. I'm going to assume I, I was two minutes in, so I'll stop it two minutes earlier. Or a minute earlier. I just expect it to go a minute later. I'm not really too fast. I doubt you are either, if you're watching this, because you enjoy it. Anyway, let's expand the military support. See how far we get with that. 4.6 fucking years. And that's only 8 to 9 thousand capacity. That's not going to last long at all. It's going to last barely a month. S, my guess, but I'm sure it's pretty close. 2.5 times a month. That's 60 plus 15, is it? 75? I don't fucking know. Something like that. I think that was perfectly accurate, actually. So barely over a month not even two months that's a good way of saying it yeah that's not even last two months yeah, yeah, yeah it's gonna take me four and a half fucking years to even get there so I shouldn't be planning for that should I I can't even build the fucking Are you kidding me oh wow Olympiad That's that's great. I'm sure the Spanish did did well during the Olympiad. Yeah. 
I'm sure we did so well. Oh, Turkey. Tarkey. Tarkin. Tarkin looked uh, weird in that. That fucking Disney princess Star Wars where they reanimated the man. Those fucking. The, the terrible Star Wars is. Absolute fucking garbage. But, oh well. Uh, I'm sure it's going to get better now that the Game of Thrones writers are in charge. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, that's funny. Oh, fucking Tanu Tova, my fellow communists. Support me in this war, my good friend uh, Sal Chak Toka, and I will give you the world. I promise you that. There'll be no Tanu Wat, there'll be Tanu Tova, Lords of East Asia. You gotta befriend me, my friends. Looks like a uh, chicken chicken leg. It's got the shape. Fried chicken leg. There's a country around here somewhere as well. Niger. Niger looks like a chicken leg. In the modern world, not sure about if the version of this game does. No, it's not long enough. Actually, yeah, it is because it has that. There you go. Yes, yeah, st they still do here. See the shape? Niger looks like a chicken leg fried. Well, not even fried necessarily, but... Uh, yeah, I guess it is because it's got the rougher texture. If it was just a normal skinless chicken leg, it'd be smooth. I guess it's smooth there, but it has all the uh, chunky bits that you'd put down to the batter. Homemade batter's great. I do a lot of fishing, so I like to have fried fish, and I make a great batter. I can't give you the recipe, because I follow an online one, but I know it involves eggs, and deep fat fryer, and you just smother it, and you dip it in. You've got to have it on full heat before you put it in. That's how it affect. That's the how the effect works, making it crunchy. Otherwise, it'll just all wash away if you put it in and then heat it up. I love cooking. I'm cooking right now, actually. While I'm recording this, I got dinner on. Today, I'm cooking a pork rib rack with honey garlic sauce. Now, the way I cook that, I can tell you, because I I don't follow an online recipe for that. So I have this rib rack. It's 700 grams. I think there's about maybe. 300 grams of meat on it. It's a very proteiny day. Sometimes I have very proteiny dinners. I I work out and like to have a protein surplus. I'm also gonna have some vegetables with it. I got broccoli. I'm gonna boil before it's done. Anyway, I put it in tin foil wrapped. I wrap it in tin foil with a bit of sauce. I put it in at 350 for an hour and a half. I then take off the cover. I put on more sauce and I start to boil the broccoli. I then leave it in for another 20 minutes at 350 and then for 15 minutes after that I put it up to 420 which dries out the top layer a bit more. I like I like my ribs to uh, I don't want them to fall off the bone. If I wanted to fall fall off the bone I would slow cook them. If you like your ribs where the meat falls off the bone put it in a slow cooker for a few hours at medium heat and then get it out, the meat will just slide off, which works for anything which has a bone in it. It's great for chicken if you like that sort of thing, chicken legs, all that. But I like ribs to, uh, I like to bite off the meat and have it a bit chunky. So I dry it out a bit, although it doesn't really get dried out of all that sauce now. I do put a lot of fucking sauce on it. And I'll uh, have my broccoli, I'll slice that up, and I'll dip it in with the sauce, and I'll eat my fucking Rib rack. By hand. You don't fucking use a knife or fork. Well, that's what I'm doing today. Because I'm clearly not doing the Spanish Civil War. If I was doing the Spanish Civil War, <laughs> there'd be something fucking happening. Equipment effort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do equipment effort. But there's obviously nothing happening. I could expand. No, fuck it. I want a war. Let's go. Who's doing what? So, Jose Diaz, Grace. Oh shit, I own most of this fucking land. What's going on? And I'm fighting Democrats. Where's, where's Franco? Did I break the game? 
Who's who? Right, so... You, oh, you got Catalonia! I got the map the wrong way around. I've only got half the troops. No, he's got that many. I've got... Oh, fuck. I've... I'm going to destroy this prick. But where are my commanders? I don't have any fucking commanders. I still have these... These people... I think, I don't think I did it right. I think, I think I've broken the Civil War. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. Anyway, you guys are going to join this. And you're going to have this guy in charge. And I'm going to stick you on a front line over here. To which I want you to charge in this general direction as fast as you can. And as soon as you can. Everybody else, you are, yes, yes, I'm aware. You guys are going to go over here and you are going to charge towards Barcelona. Now, do I have all the planes? I think I might. So, we're going to get all these planes. Oh, you lot. And we're going to stick you over over Barcelona. I guess it's all one Iberian region, so we're just going to stick you everywhere. And we're going to get... There's no point in that. I guess that's it. So, yeah, you guys go do what you will. You guys... There's no need to piss about. Fucking get to it. Oh, that's... Oh, aggression packs with the Soviets. Sure. Uh, what do we to do with you? Yeah, obviously, we're not building in Catalonia anymore. Fucking build you there instead. Ah, so, uh... They're going to send me some volunteers. I'm... Oh, seven fucking divisions. I doubt anyone's going to send you any, because you are not a fascist. Can I... Can I join you? Can I join your faction at all? No. No. What do you mean, no? Minus 55, what? Why? Spain's at war, yes. Neighboring faction, base reluctance. Oh, fuck. So we have run into some negativity. We're going to send you there. We're going to send you there. And we're going to send you there. Uh, everyone else is going to get ready over here. And you guys, well, what you should try to do is surround them so that they are still Duck. We'll get this guy to go straight to Uviedo, and Bob's your uncle, Manuel's your cousin, let's fucking go. These guys are... They're going to be able to hold their own down in Barcelona. So there's that. To deal with at a later date. Because their divisions are going to be... They're going to be in a sh smaller amount of area, and they're going to have all of the... the Developments and whatever the factories of Barcelona. So they're gonna be able to build some supplies. I'm just gonna try my best to go around here and see if I can stop the havoc before it happens. Oh, good. So those guys are gonna gonna die, I guess. And you are gonna go there. You're gonna go there. You're gonna go around there and then up there. Good. They are attempting it. So, what I'm going to do is get you to... Oh, that won't work. Alright, so you're going to have to go in there to stop them. You have to go there to stop them. And I will attempt to go straight through to Barcelona down this coast instead. Distract all these guys. Seven Soviets. What did they send? Who's, uh, who's come to join the party? Where the fuck are they? Soviets. Oh, they're up there. Six tank divisions. Fuck, that would have been perfect for the uh, the proper war, if the proper war happened. Right, that is a bit of a kerfuffle. So let's wait a bit, go around, and hope that their front lines can hold. Right, you guys, hold off. Everyone, hold off. Hold the fuck off. Go there instead. We need to reach here before they start to retreat. Otherwise, we can't cut them off. Which is uh, ideally what we would like to do. Cutting them off from supplies, from reinforcements, from everything, from their mothers, from their grandmothers, from their cats. Just cut the fuckers off and get to work. Good. Good. Alright, you're going to be better off there, mate. How are we getting over on this side? Well, we haven't won yet, but I'm sure we will soon. Ah, terrific. So let's go through Girona and then attack onto these falls. You can get started there. 
Oh, this is great. We, uh, yeah, the Spanish Civil War has never been won so easily. But that's because we're not fighting fascists. Fascists are all obviously better at fighting than democratics, I, I guess. Maybe in Spain, at least. These guys have been shit. Oh, that's good. You're all uh, victorious now. Victory to the Spanish people. Maybe the other civil war is still going to kick off. I'm sure the, uh, the local fascist population is not going to be too happy about what has transpired here. I assume they are going to be bloody well furious that the communists have taken power. It's not, uh, it's not the best thing for them to have happening now, is it? Alright everyone, let's, uh, let's take these guys out. Uh, we've done pretty well on the kill to death ratio. You guys want to help out? Good stuff, buddies. Oh, the uh, the Russians, the Soviets, appear to be attempting to take Barcelona without me. Which I do not approve of. It should be me who walks through the streets of Barcelona. Not the Soviets. But... I guess they are redistributing the glory. There's plenty of glory to go around, but I want it all for myself. I'm not into this distribution like you communists. I'm a distributor of other means, not not glory. Glory all belongs to me. Come on, you motherfuckers, get in there. Hey, so now, this is when I would drop a nuke on it. They're taking too long. I understand you are fighting your cousins over here, you're killing people you probably recognize, neighbors, brother-in-laws, civil wars, what happens? Right, everyone else, let's fucking go to Barcelona now. There might be some Soviets tagging along trying to glory hunt, but we're gonna, we're gonna win this. It's gonna be us. The might of the Spanish male is what is bringing stability to our new empire. Terrific. I believe that is a, uh, a victory right there. Oh, well, uh, back to work, everyone. Hopefully, hopefully the fascists don't come knocking. They probably will. It's probably going to be hilarious when they do as well. Well, where did those troops I was training go? Did they join the enemy? Did I lose the equipment? I think I might have. I think a lot of negative things which I did not want to happen happened. But, oh well. We are now... What are we? What, what is this nation called? Republican Spain. So, good for us, I suppose. Good for us. So can I can I fabricate claims? Because these Portuguese motherfuckers, these ones over here, they belong to me. So let's Gerda. What the fuck's a Gerda? I need. Wait, how much power do I need? I need one more political power. All right, so we're gonna get one more political power. Did I get it? Then we're going to then we're going to justify on Porto. This is for that that war they won. What was that war when Diavis, when the Diavis royal family became a thing? There was a succession war. See, the king of Portugal died with only a daughter, and the daughter was married to the king of Spain. So when he died, the king of Spain tried to take over Portugal in his wife, the previous rulers of Portugal's daughter's name, some lords. There was two of them. There was two candidates, but one from somewhere. He raised an army from around this sort of area. The Spanish came in. They had superior numbers by far. But the Portuguese guys laid some sort of trap. They won. The Spanish went there. And I think they came back with even more men. But by that time, this guy crowned himself as king. He unified all of the armies of the realm. He was still outnumbered, but he had a secret weapon. An alliance with the English, which included several hundred longbowmen. If you've got several hundred longbowmen from England in this time period, you win the war. 
So that's what happened. They got stuck in, was it a marsh? And then they just got fucked by everyone and they fucked off. And that is what created the, is it Lisbon Treaty? Where the English and the Portuguese have that alliance which stands to this day. Still? Isn't that... I think I got the story completely correct. There might be a few a few misfits around, but I think that's that's it. Fairly certain. Anyway, let's let's fucking kill these guys. What how long we gotta wait? Oh fuck! Two hundred odd days? You lunatic. Alright. Um Let's get rid of your little sheep hands. Put you there. And then we'll get rid of that shit. And we will split you in half. We'll stick you over there with these guys who will be under his command. Who will be stuck up there. And we're going to stick your front line there. Terrific. And let's just build a new unit. Special forces. Sure. Might need to join this guy. Oh, if we can get free, may as well get free. You lot are going to join... Uh, you're going to join that guy. What do you mean no? Fucking join him. What is this? Why Why won't you do my bidding? I want you, all of you, to join this here line. Purple one? No, 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 no. The other one. Alright, I guess you're going to fucking join the purple one then. Anyway, that'll do. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm still certain that the main civil war is going to kick off at some point. I just, I'm not entirely sure when or how. But hey, if it doesn't, we're going to go invade Portugal. See you guys there. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.